Hey there, my name's Chris Winter, and I've got an interesting camera with me, the Canon 4000D. Now, I've had this one for about two months, and there's actually a couple of things that I really like about this camera, even though it's very, very basic. Now, if you don't know, the Canon 4000D is Canon's cheapest camera that they've pretty much ever released. It's pretty much a bare bones DSLR, great for beginners or people who want something that's gonna be good for stills photography and a good little starter camera. So, uh, in this video, I wanna tell you a few things that I really like about this camera, and uh, yeah, we'll get started now. And guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely also make sure to check out my brand new list, the best cameras for beginners. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video, and you can take a look. So the first thing that I really like about the Canon 4000D is its small size and weight. Now, uh, if you've never picked up a DSLR before, the Canon 4000D uh, might seem like a big camera. I mean, compared to a, a, a phone camera, an iPhone, a, a Galaxy phone, it is gonna be bigger, but compared to a lot of other DSLRs, it's actually quite a small DSLR, and it's quite light as well. And the way that they've done this is really stripped down a lot of the features. So, for example, we're gonna be having a plastic mount on the uh, where the lens is connected, and that's gonna be saving a few grams as well. Uh, and we don't have things like a flip screen. But for a lot of people, having a smaller size DSLR can actually be a really good thing, especially if you wanna be traveling uh, or if you don't really wanna be taking around a heavy DSLR for most of your day. And if you're a beginner, I think the best thing about this is that you're not gonna be thinking, oh, I've got my big DSLR that I've gotta lug around all the time. So that's actually something I really like about the Canon 4000D. If you want a smaller camera just to take some quick photos, this is gonna be a nice little option. Another thing that I really like about the Canon 4000D, and it's probably one of the reasons why I got it into the studio to test it, is basically its price. It is one of the cheapest DSLRs that Canon have ever introduced. And I think that that's actually a really good thing because it's gonna open the DSLR market up to a lot of other people. Now, uh, I, I think that there's a lot of uh, talk in the camera community that why would they want a, a camera with such limited features? Well, there's a lot of people who just need a good quality camera that you can change some lenses on it and just get the basics out of it. And a lot of people don't have that much money. So I actually think that Canon have made a really good uh, choice here to take away some of the more advanced features like a flip screen, really great video recording autofocus, and also getting like a, uh, just having a plastic mount. And this really does open it up to a lot of people who might have been just using their phone uh, and end up using a DSLR. And I think that that's a great thing for pretty much all photographers because the more people who are starting to use DSLRs, uh, the better it is for pretty much everyone. Another really nice feature on this camera is that we've got a lot of basic modes. And like I said before, this is a camera for beginners. It is really quite easy to use for beginners. So uh, on the top here, we have all of the different settings. And when you use the menu, it really is quite easy, especially for beginners to get started into the world of DSLRs. You don't really have to jump into the manual mode straight away. And they do have a lot of nice features in here to really get it started for people who uh, might not be used to knowing what aperture is, shutter speed is, all of those manual settings, which we're kind of used to, but for a lot of beginners, this is gonna be a great start a little camera. And another little feature that I thought I would just mention that I actually kind of like, and I thought was a little bit weird for me, is that on the Canon 4000D, we actually have the little icons next to the buttons, next to the buttons, not actually on top of the buttons. So for example, we have our exposure compensation button right here. There's actually nothing on the button, so that means when you press the button, you can still see what you're actually gonna be pressing. So if I press, the display button right here, I can actually see what it's gonna be. This might be a really trivial little thing, but I actually think that's really quite cool and I don't see why they wouldn't bring this out onto larger cameras when you're in a bit of a rush or something and you wanna be uh, knowing exactly what you wanna be hitting, or what you're gonna be pressing, being able to have that, and it's, it's a nice little feature on the Canon 4000D. I mean, look, I am picking at little, uh, little things right here it's never gonna be a camera like a Canon 80D, a Canon 5D Mark IV, but there are a couple of things on this camera that I really do like. And that one of those things is those uh, buttons and the icons on the side. And one last thing I really like about the Canon 4000D, and I'm glad that they did include it on this DSLR, uh, is Wi-Fi built into the camera. Now this essentially means that you can have your nice shots that you've taken on a DSLR, maybe with a nice prime lens, so you can get that kind of blurry background. Uh, and then you can transfer it over the air to your phone. And I think that this is really nice, especially for people who are just getting into the world of DSLRs and who wanna share their photos on places like Instagram and Facebook. Being able to seamlessly connect uh, your Canon 4000D to your phone really is a nice thing. And I've found that the Canon Camera Connect app, which is what you use to do the Wi-Fi, works really well. So this is definitely one of my 
favorite features on the Canon 4000D and I'm glad that they've included it. It's definitely nice to have that on even the beginner models. So there you go, that were a couple of things that I really liked about the Canon 4000D. And guys, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely also make sure to check out my brand new list, the best cameras for beginners. I go through some of the cameras that would be best for you. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description box below this video and you can take a look. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video that I make on the Canon 4000D. Bye.